Wasit Makanaka, enlarge your abode. These are the words that were revealed to the promised Messiah. May peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. It inspires members to continually strive for excellence and to spread the message of Islam. Jalsa Salana is the prime event of the year in many countries around the world in which the guests of the promised Messiah alayhi salam increasingly attend in the thousands. In Canada, it is very much the same from its humble beginnings with the handful of attendees to the thousands across the nation. The community is growing larger every year. So let us embark on how the Canadian Jamaat enlarged their abode, culminating in this year's historic Jalsa Salana as we witness the unfolding prophecy of Hadika e Ahmed. We acquired Basel Islam in 85-86 time period and at that time the Jalsa was held in a school. David Mary Thompson School was in Scarborough and our Shura, our Jalsa, our monthly meeting was happening over there. And then Toronto Congress Centre was one of the places where we had uh, some events over there when we needed larger gathering. After the acquisition of Bethel Islam Mosque, the Jalsa started happening at Bethel Islam Mosque property. I have seen the Jalsa Salana, which was first Jalsa Salana, which was held at Bethel Islam property. Uh, and Hazrat Khalifat al-Masih, Rabir attended that. It was uh, such an amazing Jalsa Salana at that time. But this became very small for our purposes. And after 99, most of the annual conventions were held outside. In 2001, we started having our Jalsas at International Center. We didn't have to worry about the electricity, we didn't have to worry about uh, water, we didn't have to worry about the uh, internet facility. Everything was basically set up and we would go in and do our setup and our whole Jalsa. But we realized that this place is going to get a small very soon and for future planning we should get something bigger. Jamaat has uh, surpassed the capacity of International Centre and uh, it's hard to accommodate uh, the members who are coming and to serve them properly, uh, especially the guest of Hazrat Masih Maudra Satasam. So I think it's, it's a good time to move on. So we started looking at various opportunities and when we heard that there's a land available in Bradford, which is only about 30 to 40 minutes drive from our Bethel Islam Mosque, we got interested into it. I received a call that the land is listed in Bradford. It is very close to a mission house. It takes only half an hour, 200 acres, and we should immediately go and see it. And uh, along with the realtor, we went to see the land. And I was personally convinced that this is a suitable land for our future purposes. The land was uh, purchased for, uh, uh, for multi-purpose uh, uh, for the Jamaat activities and Jamia and Jalsa Salana and Ishtamaat of uh, auxiliary organizations. By the grace of Allah, in 2012, Jamaat Ahmadiyya Canada was blessed to have Hazrat Khalifa Tul Masih Khamis, may Allah be his helper, come to Canada where he inaugurated Hadika e Ahmad. I had a huge blessing and honor uh, uh, to be a part of that uh, group of people who were able to go. When Hazur Anwar Yid al says he arrived, we were all lined up. Hazur Anwar uh, said, Salaam Alaikum to everyone. And then after that, uh, it was arranged that uh, there'll be a lunch. Some of uh, the members who were there, they had the, the food in their own plate, which they were eating. Somebody has fish or somebody had roti or something. And they just uh, uh, <laughs> requested Hazur that please uh, do the tabarak to this. <laughs> and uh, Hazur graciously accepted that and uh, took some a uh, little bit from uh, many of members' uh, plates. Uh, looking uh, uh, after uh, Hazur's visit, uh, we see that many of the usage that uh, Jamaat has uh, acquired this property for uh, has been start, starting uh, to utilize that uh, property for that purpose. So historically, uh, once we finish one Jalsa, we always start working on the second Jalsa. But because in Hadika Ahmed this is happening first time, We've been working on this project for last six, seven years. There was a lot of earth movement, uh, so we have to level those grounds uh, because the tents that we are going to erect on those grounds, they required a certain 
level surfacing. Then finally, when we spoke with the city uh, last year, they gave us only two weeks. And there was just before our 2023 Jalsa, they gave us a target date of July 10th. So by the grace of Allah, it came together and we, we applied on time. And finally, we got our approvals in October. Everything just came together. And this setup that we are seeing, uh, it's, it's happening for first time for us, it's happening first time for vendors as well. This is an exciting time, but it is also a very challenging time. It's not an easy thing to do uh, to hold an outdoor jalsa. The, compared to outdoor jalsa, an indoor facility is a piece of cake. Uh, but uh, with the grace of Allah and mercy of Allah and uh, prayers of Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih, Ayyadullah Talib bin Aziz, those challenges just evaporate. Uh, <laughs> a day before jalsa salana, we may, we may see, oh, this thing is impossible. But Next day, Jalsa is starting and those challenges are not there anymore. So this year, the very fact that we are having this Jalsa outside in about 20 years at such a large scale, this in itself is very exciting uh, for our members. And you can imagine, you look, in, uh, look at the ground behind me, um, and this is the true fulfillment of the prophecy of the Promised Messiah Islam, Vasya Makanaka. As Jamaat has grown substantially in the last few years, beloved Huzur Enver mentioned that we have outgrown the International Center and now we need to go out and find a bigger space. Since that time, Jamaat has been actively working on to ensure that we meet the fulfillment of uh, wishes of Huzur Enver. The role of Afsar Jasas Lana, there are multiple hats. Uh, we have to coordinate with city, with county. That also translates into different departments uh, in order to have all the permissions to hold Jalsa Salana uh, at Hadika Ahmed. And then, of course, we have to coordinate with vendors to bring in all this, uh, what we are looking here on the site. But at the same time, the third role, the main role is to coordinate between different departments, Jalsa Ga, Khidmat Khalq. We spoke with Afsar Khidmati Halk, who provided us with an inside look at the effort and dedication of the volunteers and workers so that they could achieve a successful Jalsa Salana. So this year, by the grace of Allah Ta'ala, I am humbly serving as a Afsar Khidmati Halk. We have to take care of the parking and security duties at the Jalsa Salana. And uh, the first volunteer that you meet at Jalsa Salana and the last volunteer that you meet and the first and last impression that you get from the Jalsa Salana is from the Khidmat Khalq Department. We need to make sure like all the uh, attendees of Jalsa Salana, when they come to Jalsa Salana, they feel comfortable while they're here at the Jalsa Salana site. The officer Jalsa Ga has the crucial responsibility of overseeing the smooth execution of all key moments at the Jalsa Salana. So when the Jalsa Salana finishes their job of providing these uh, marquees, then the Jalsa Ga team takes over and they start doing their setup inside. That includes the setup for the Jalsa, setup for seating of the members, and most importantly, the program itself. The theme of this year is Al Khairu Kulluhu Fil Quran. All goodness lies in the Holy Quran. You know, the fundamental objective of Jalsa Salana is the Tarbiyat of our members. And if we are able to put across this message, I think it will be a good refresher for all of us. A key factor throughout the year is maintaining this piece of land. This is done by the caretaker, Khizr Hayat, who works diligently to ensure that the property is always in excellent condition. This is the land of the land. This is about 250 acres. So this is an apple tree. The apple tree is about 2,000 acres. अब मेरा काम जो शुरू से सर्दियों से मैं ना जलसे के लिए काम जो कर रहा हूं मैंने कुछ और यहां पे ट्री जो थे या जो पत्थर वगैरह थे वो साफ किए हैं और एरिया का जो साफ सुथरा घास काटना वगैरह शामिल है इसमें जलसे में जिन लोगों को हेल्प की जरूरत होती है मैं उनकी हेल्प कर देता हूं خدمت خلق इज नॉट लिमिटेड टू द सिक्योरिटी एंड पार्किंग एज़ वेल बिकॉज़ आवर खुदाम दे आर रिस्पांसिबल uh, to provide services to our Langakhana team as well and also any other thing 
uh, regarding the Jalsa Salana, our Khudam plays the uh, integral role in the duties of Jalsa Salana. So you can see that before Jalsa Salana, we planted almost 1,000 trees in this property. So everyone is excited to attend the Jalsa Salana and participate in any way that they can. If you look around the property, you'll see that uh, our team has identified exactly which marquee is going where uh, with different pegs and they're exactly down to the measurement. This is the corner for the flooring because the flooring has to be a little bit shorter than the actual marquee size so that we can do run the uh, wires and that other stuff. That will help uh, other vendors, for example the vendor with the marquees. It will be easy for them to put their plates and then start framing. Well, today we're doing uh three of our frame tents, uh, 30 by 40 feet. The largest one would be the 50 meter that we've had here. We've done 30 meter in there, we've got uh, 25 meter, we got 20 meter, uh, I think we have a couple 15 meter. I think we've already been here a month and, month and a half already. Uh, and there's still more to go, so we're, we're working on it. वहीं पे सर झुका दिया जो जाते राह पास था वो सब यहाँ लुटा दिया खुदा का नूर देख कर झुका दिया न जिसने सर बनाएगा वो किस तरह से जन्नतों में अपना घर This is our main junction box where we are connecting all our fiber optic cable for the entire Jalsa. We will be accommodating network, video, audio, security system, CCTV, everything will be plugged in over here and will be distributed to the all markets. What is it? Live uh, post-production. So that's flag hoisting and then we've got the road there so then this ought to be where the, the studio is going to go. We're just part of the organizing team here, just uh, well, you guys trying to sort some stuff out. <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> this goes to the cookhouse and then we're going to go from there up to the house and then they're digging the rest. <laughs> रसूल ने बताए थे जो दीन हक रास्ते अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह वी प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर ऑल द लाइटिंग एंड व्हाट एवर द पावर रिक्वायर्ड इन द मार्किंग ऑल द मार्किंग डेजिग्नेट लजना एंड ओवरफ्लोज वी ऑल इंशाल्लाह ताला प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर दिस इज द एक्सटेंशन कोर वी प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द लाइटिंग and that's what's stripping the wire and preparing for uh, all the extension for, for electricity. And from there, we go all the way up and drop it down. So we're just uh, assembling the bottom portion of the geodesic dome right now. We just finished down putting the base. We got the carpet down. Knee walls are up. And now we're on to the first layer of the triangles. Here we have the MTA compound getting ready. We have the offices getting dropped off today and uh, just getting that organized. Yeah, so that when you get there, let me know if you have a 25 by 20. Do I have next to have a non partition? We are witnessing the blessings of Allah Ta'ala. The volunteers are giving time, but at the same time, there are certain volunteers who are going exceptional. For example, one of our volunteers who was supposed to pick up uh, a lot of fence from our vendor. The fence rental is one component, the transportation is another component and he has his own business. When we spoke to him, he said, don't worry, I will take time off, I will bring my own trucks and I will transport my, all the fences. And by the grace of Allah, he, he made multiple trips and he transported all the fence that needs to be required on this facility and that saves us uh, at least three times of the rent that we have paying in transportation and then volunteers have installed 
the vendor was asking us three times of the price of the rent in order to install the fences. But the volunteer said, no, we will install it ourselves. And the team have started it. By the grace of Allah, they have already completed the fence. In the light of the Quranic guidance, ta'avanu walal birre wa taqwa, and help one another in goodness and piety. Volunteers represent the nizam of Jalsa Salana. Take the example of rubbing parts of a machine. They need grease, oiling, good morals, courtesy, and forgiveness is the oiling of social interaction. Dear volunteers, my dear volunteers, just as rebuilding of Kaaba was to bring humanity to Allah, and settlement of Rabwa in a barren land was to build a town of lovers of God, inshallah, Jalsa Salana at Hadikai Ahmad will start a tradition of sharing the beautiful teachings of Islam Ahmadiyyat in Canada under the guidance of Khilafat. We Ahmadis are like sheep. We are grazing on a green land without fear. And uh, our Khalifa al Masih is like a shepherd and he's watching us, guiding us. We have no knowledge because, you know, when you look at the sheep, they have no knowledge. They just go here and there and eat grass here and there. When there is a shepherd who is always guiding them, and especially our Khalifa al Masih is guided by Allah, not by human. So that's very important to understand that a shepherd who is guided by Allah uh, is guiding us. So if we just uh, get out of that invisible fence, which Hazrat Masih Maudra has mentioned, I am the, I'm the protector of this uh, Jamaat. So if we get out of that, obviously there are wild beasts out there uh, to attack us. So we should always think about it uh, uh, whenever we think of Khilafat. That Khilafat is a key source of our blessing, our protection, and anything that comes in our life, nothing can harm us if we are attached with Khilafat. And it is from that attachment to Khilafat that took us from our humble beginnings to a blessed tent city where true Islam reverberates. With that, we see the unfolding of a great prophecy, Wasit Makanika, and larger abode. These words, which had run through the heart of the promised Messiah, alayhi salam, now flow through the veins of the guests of the promised Messiah. Koi na jaan ta ta ke hai qadiyya ki dhar